Hello and welcome back to AJM Learn. Today I'm going to show you how to set up these like auto layout carousels. Um, first, I'll show you how to even get one. Um, if you're like, where in the world does that exist? Um, go into edit on your page. I already have one here, but if you go to add section and go let this load, um, I typically grab it from like testimonials. There's a few floating around in here. I typically do testimonials and start with like one of these just based on, you can edit like from this to this, but um, you know, just based on like the look I want to start with. So that's the easiest way to get started with one is just choose one from in here. Um, next you'll go into maybe edit section. So from here, choose like your background color based on these themes. I decided I wanted a dark background color. As any section, you could like add a background photo and, and a divider, but that's pretty much your options for the section itself. Um, real quick, obviously over in site styles, you can manage um, if you click actually really more of colors. Um, if you click on here, let's see, we're in dark one. So go into your correct color mode or your correct style. If you click on it, as usual, you can, you know, edit the colors of everything in here. So just your basic stuff like the, you know, the card color, uh, um, arrow color, etc. So all of that's editable. Along that, you can go back over here, go into edit content. Um, first, this is what we're telling it. Do we want this big, this title over the top or not? I'll get rid of it. We could have a button up there too. And then within each card, we're showing an image, a title, body. We could show a button if we wanted. We could get rid of the body if we wanted, all of that. Over in content, this is where all the content comes from. So within each of these, I just kept kind of the filler that was already here, but this is where the photo is, um, your title, and then your description. So I've just dropped in some filler stuff here. You can of course delete, you can move them around like this, and then you could add more. Uh, over in design is where I find that these get, honestly, you, it's just a lot of, it took me so long to, just playing around in here to really, I feel like it's very disorganized. Um, okay. Obviously alignment, you can play around with this here, max column. So if you want to show four or three, the way you want the image cropped, let's pretend we want this to be a square. I like to do infinite scroll. What that does is it shows, um, oh, and then show adjacent slides. So infinite scroll means it doesn't like end after four. It just keeps scrolling infinitely. So I just think it's an easier user experience unless you really want to show an end. And then I like to show adjacent slides because it shows people, hey, there's more over here, like click the arrow. Um, okay, so style and then size and space are two that I feel like it should, I don't know, be the same tab. It's like you go into style and then you still have like some sizing, but text size. Uh, okay, I always like to click the ellipses and do this manually. So you can, if you do click the ellipses, it took me a while to really notice that you could do that, but you can actually tweak each of these individually. You can change it if you don't want it to be a card. If you just wanted it to be, you know, no background, you could totally do that. Um, what I'm going to show you today with CSS does kind of not require, but it, it kind of reflects having a card. Um, and then navigation offset, that's going to be your arrows, like where they're at. Uh, you could also put them below, which I mean, I, you know, and then change, change the spacing. In theory, it's like a nice look, but it takes up way more vertical space. Okay. Over in size and space, this is where like, this is just a lot. <laughs> okay. But honestly, if you don't know what it means, just like play around with it is what I usually do. So like media width, of course, that's the photo. How wide do we want that to be? Placement center. Cause like this makes no sense to me. It's like your alignments here, but then I have to go align the photo here. Like that doesn't, this is very not intuitive to me. Um, so anyway, content width, I usually keep that pretty wide, but if you wanted to like bring it in for whatever reason, you could, that's just, you know, how much space your text is taking up content placement. Like, so this is not the, of course the like centering or left alignment. This is actually just the placement. As you can see, I, um, I don't know. I always kind of keep it to the left unless, you have things centered, um, space between elements. This is something I, yeah, I usually click the ellipses and start like doing manually. Cause like, that's just way too much space in my opinion. Um, so you can kind of manually space things out here. 
space between slides. Um, so between these cards, I like to adjust that. Vertical padding, I definitely like to adjust because I don't like these to be super deep sections. I typically like a look kind of like this. As always, you can click the ellipses and get a little more specific. And then position, I think this one really makes the most sense because unless you have the exact same amount of text in every one, even if you do this centered, if there was a different amount of text, like the card's going to be a different size. So I always like to do this. It forces the card to be the same size no matter what you have inside of it. Okay, so those are your basic setups for like how to get this looking decent. And then I'm going to drop in a little bit of CSS. You know, I always have to do a little bit of CSS. Um, so go over to your website tools, custom CSS, pop in here. I've copied this over directly from the post. Um, all right, so what we're having here, add border and rounded corners. So this first one is right here. This is your border. So you can make it, you know, however thick you want. Um, you can make it like this is solid. You could make it, um, I'm forgetting the exact, you could look it up, exact CSS uh, word here, but I think it's dashed or dotted, but you could change that. Um, your color of the border here. And then border radius, that's of course the roundedness of the uh, edges. So you can make that as rounded or not rounded as you want. But I just think this makes it look a little more polished and purposeful. It looks just so, I don't know, kind of floaty otherwise. Um, borders are kind of coming back, in my opinion. I think if they're used sparingly and nice and like, you know, purposefully, then they do look good. You could, of course, like any CSS, you could totally get rid of this as well and just round the corners. Um, the other thing I did just to add like a little more emphasis is so I had went in here in my description and bolded some some words. So this is just like a fun option you may or may not need, but you can totally change the bold description color, um, which I've done here to this turquoise. If you wanted something to stand out, this just looks way more polished to me than, you know, this. Um, Okay. Uh, check out the post. I also show you how to apply this to just one block, just one page or just one section. So if you, I always use my Google extension, I can grab, actually it wouldn't apply to a block, but I can grab this section here and you can throw that in front of your CSS and it would only apply to that section um, instead of your whole website. So you're not changing every single uh, list carousel just in case you have multiples. Um, okay. That's it. Hope you enjoy.